the story is that during the 1990s, the internet was being commercialized. So it had existed as a technology, as a science. It had been used by scientists and academics for maybe a decade. And during the 1990s, it was exploding into mainstream adoption. And this explosion would continue for 20 years before it finished taking over all of our lives entirely. But during those early years, there was a coalition within the United States government. And as it turned out, it was the losing faction. It wasn't the most important faction. Uh, but it consisted of Al Gore, who was the vice president under Bill Clinton, and the FBI and the NSA. And they collectively attempted to prevent the creation and the deployment of encryption. And there was many stages of this battle because the other factions, both within the government, within the larger community and society and economy, uh, correctly saw encryption as necessary to protect the users of this new technology because the internet was a decentralized technology and without encryption, uh, bad actors would be able to use their access to the internet to exploit the good people using the internet. Ultimately, that anti-encryption faction within the government lost the, the policy debate as well as the public deployment on the ground facts. And it was interesting how those two played off against each other. It was simultaneously um, rigorous, thoughtful arguments between policymakers and analysts in the public policy sphere at the same time as hackers and entrepreneurs were rapidly changing the facts on the ground by deploying new internet services to tens of millions, maybe hundreds of millions of people by then. And then it's really interesting now to look back 25 or whatever years and observe that the technology that Al Gore and the NSA and the FBI were attempting to outlaw and to prevent the development of is now legally required by Congress and such acts as Graham Leach Bliley and BSA and Child Online Protection Act and so on and so forth. It's better to have a safe and secure infrastructure um, that we can build all of this wonderful value on that's changed all of our lives for the better over the last 25 years. It's a very similar debate at this point. Um, of course, I don't know how it will develop in the future, but analogously, if it develops the same way in the future, then in about 25 years, it will be required by law that you use encryption on all of your blockchains to protect your customers.